Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren Laboratory is performing a cost and operational effectiveness analysis on the 20 millimeter surface mode CIWS. The Stabilized Weapons Platform System, SWPS, a hybrid 25 millimeter gun and missile system, and the Advanced Minor Caliber Gun System. The analysis was requested by the Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Navy for ships. The center recently conducted lethality tests supporting the AMCGS program and the cost and operational effectiveness analysis. Two types of target boats were configured as hostile attack boats. One was a 65-foot aluminum Mark III patrol boat with a quarter-inch thick hull. It was outfitted with 50 caliber machine guns fore and aft and a six-pod launcher containing 24 5-inch Zuni rockets. The 1 8 inch thick aluminum pilot and deckhouse structures housed inert ammunition and equipment. The boat had a crew of five. Each wore protective Army Kevlar flak jackets and M1 steel helmets. The five-man crew consisted of a pilot, a navigator, two 50 caliber gunners, and a radio operator. The other targets were 36-foot and 32-foot fiberglass boats. The 36-foot target boat had a one-foot thick fiberglass foam sandwich construction hull. The 32-foot boat had a one-quarter inch thick fiberglass hull. Each had a four-man crew, which included a pilot, a navigator, and 50 caliber gunners fore and aft. The 36-foot fiberglass target was destroyed by fire initiated by a 30-millimeter HEI round impacting on the pilot house on the second day of testing. Testing continued using the 32-foot target boat. For the firing tests, each boat was positioned at 1,500 meters with a bow aspect of 15 degrees to the firing position, and then at 3,000 meters with a broadside aspect. Three types of 25 millimeter ammunition were fired from a gain twist 7.5 degree exit angle GAU-12 man barrel. The Navy Mark 210 High Explosive Incendiary Tracer, or HEIT round, with an M505 point detonating fuse. The Army M792 HEIT round, with an M758 point detonating self-destruct fuse. And the Army M793 Target Practice Tracer round. Four types of 30 millimeter ammunition were fired, from a gain twist seven degree exit angle modified GAU-8 man barrel. The PGU-13 HEI round with an M505 point detonating fuse. The PGU-13 HEI with an M758 point detonating self-destruct fuse. An experimental semi-armor piercing HEI or SAFI round. And the PGU-15 target practice round. The M505 fuse is a simple, inexpensive tri-service fuse used on 20, 25, and 30 millimeter rounds. Previous history with the 20 millimeter M56 HEI round has shown that consistent M505 fuse function is dependent upon projectile mass, impact velocity, and angle of impact. The U.S. Army M758 point detonating self-destruct fuse was used on both the 25 millimeter M792 and 30 millimeter PGU-13 rounds. The M758 fuse consistently initiated a high order warhead detonation on impact. Turn it over to you, 18. 24, 24 Alpha, 14, 1 Romeo, 103, 1 Delta. 24 Alpha. 14. 1 Romeo. 103. 1 Delta. Stand by. Round 26, 3. Firing tests were conducted from March 10th to May 5th, 1992. The objective was to compare the lethality of the 25 millimeter and 30 millimeter rounds by firing both calibers at the same targets and then assessing the amount of damage caused. Here are some of the representative test fires. 18, load and ready to turn over to you.
Analysis of test results indicates that of the 17 25 mm Mark 210 HEIT rounds fired at the Mark III patrol boat anchored at 3,000 meters, seven rounds hit the target. Of these, three penetrated and detonated on the eighth inch thick aluminum pilot house, three rounds hit the one quarter inch thick hull and detonated without penetration, and one round impacted the hull without penetration or detonation. Of 53 30 millimeter HEI rounds fired at the Mark III patrol boat anchored at 3,000 meters, 20 rounds impacted, detonated, and penetrated the hull and pilot house. And one round hit and detonated on the hull, but could not penetrate because of the rib support reinforcement of the hull plate. At both 1,500 and 3,000 meters, the 30 millimeter HEI rounds caused nine times more hull area damage and five times more internal forward volume damage than the 25 millimeter HEIT round. 